Hello guys, welcome back to my channel IT Scholar. It's been a while since my last video. This is the second video on the shortcut keys. You can view the details of the shortcut keys which we have discussed in this video in the description below. But before we head towards our video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and for more updates. Let's get to the video. Okay guys, home key takes the user to the start of the current line. Just like in MS Word or any word processing software. As you can see, my cursor is on the middle of the line. But when I press the home key, it takes us back on the beginning of the line. End key is used to go to the end of the current line. This key works as the exact opposite of the home key. As we all can see that the cursor is on the starting point of the line and when I press the end key it will go to end of the current line. Control Home is used to go to the beginning of the document. As I press Control Home key on any point of the document, it will take back to the starting point of the whole document. Control end is used to go to the end of the document. This shortcut key is the exact opposite of control home key. As I press control end simultaneously on any point of the document, it will take us to the end of the document just like this. Shift Home is used to highlight from the prevailing position to the start of the line. Just like when I press Shift and Home key simultaneously on the current position of the line, it will highlight or select the data that come all along the beginning of the line. Shift and key is used to highlight from the prevailing position to the end of the line. This shortcut key works as the opposite of the shift home key. Yes, when I press the shift end key simultaneously on the current position of the line, it will select or highlight the data from the current position of the line all the way to the end of the line. Control left arrow key is used to move one term to the left at a time. Just like when I press control left, it helps a user to move one term or one word to the left at a time, just like this. Remember, I said word, not alphabet, so don't get confused. Control right arrow is used to move one term to the right at a time. By pressing this shortcut key, it will do the exact opposite of the control left shortcut key just like this. Alt tab is used to switch between opened applications or programs. By pressing Alt tab, it will show us the option to change or switch between open applications as you can already see on the screen but it will go on forward mode. 
Alt Shift and Tab is used to switch backward between open application or programs just like this well that's all for today's lesson if you like the content do hit the subscribe button and support by sharing and liking the video we'll meet you in the next video